Here we are folks in Maui, Hawaii. My name is Mark Asetta and a couple years ago we did a video in Malibu and it seemed to really resonate with people in the point of that was like, look at this, these are beautiful homes. You know, but you can do this. You can do whatever you want to do. And that was a message that a lot of people need to hear. Well, let me take it a step further and just share this with you. As I sit here in Maui at the Ritz in Kapalua, I have to tell you that as nice as Malibu is to me, it's a thousand times nicer. And you know what this message is all about? This is all about, look, life is tough. How many of you figured out that life is tough? Heck, I've had a tough year in a lot of ways. A lot of challenging things have happened. So there's times where, you know, I'm, I'm frustrated. There's times where I'm disappointed. But you know what? Overall, if you ask me how my life is going, I tell you, it's amazing. I'm having the most remarkable experience. And I was sitting here kind of reflecting on this trip, just hanging out the other day. And I'm like, why is it that even though I've got problems and even though I've got hassles and even though everything isn't always perfect, that I just feel as if I'm so blessed all the time. And I guess there's a few good reasons there. I mean, obviously being a believer and, and, and knowing my relationship, that's a big part of it. But to go a step further into really tangible terms for you, I am doing nothing more than seeking out peak experiences. Years ago, I figured out that life is short and I'm going to go for the gust. I'm going to grab as much as I can. So being here, I'm a golfer. Golfing at Kapalua was an amazing peak experience. I mean, eating some of the restaurants we've been since we've been here, being down here right on the ocean, being able to chill out and, and shoot baskets on this court right by the ocean with my iPod on, playing my favorite music, Billy Joel, Bruce Springsteen, maybe not for you, but for me, man, that was ecstasy. Being able to go to Paris this year for the first time with my kids and staying at the Park High and eating at the second the highest tower up of the Eiffel Tower and the, the uh, Jules Verne restaurant, a five-star restaurant, I can't tell you what an amazing experience that was. So even though I've had lots of ups and downs this year, the ups are such great ups that I kind of forget about everything else. And see, there's a lot of people that you're not doing that or you're focusing on the other stuff. See, there's more of the other stuff. There's more of the mundane stuff. There's more of the average everyday stuff. But if you focus on that, then you're just not gonna enjoy your life. A trip like this can sustain me through a lot of crap because I know there's gonna be another trip like this. And I know there's gonna be another amazing adventure. I know there's gonna be another peak experience. And when all is said and done, they, there's that shirt that says, he who dies or she who dies with the most toys wins you can take the toys I don't need the toys the toys are only designed so you can have fun with the toys I want to have great experiences so I can look back at it and savor it the great people I'm with the great places I'm at the fabulous meals or experiences or whatever we're able to experience I'm not saying that money doesn't have something to do with it I'm not saying that having high quality is a part of it but what I'm saying most importantly is chase those moments go for the gusto and if you have enough of those moments and you focus on those moments then you'll get through your regular periods but most importantly as your wife start your life starts winding down instead of looking yourself at your own life as something that wasn't that great you'll look at your own life the way I look at mine remarkable I, I, I've lived way beyond what my childhood dreams were and not too many people can say that I'm not saying that to impress you I'm saying that to tell you the truth and a lot of it just because the way I view my life and how many amazing peak experiences I've had. So this was another one. Go out and have a peak experience between now and the end of the year. Next year, go out and have two or three more and start adding them up one after another after another. And if you can share those peak experiences with people you love so much the better because now you've got memories not just of your own but that you share with other people you care about and love and that would make it even that much richer but the bottom line is understand my life is no different than yours I've got my challenges the people that you look at and go oh my gosh they have such charm lives no they don't they have problems just like you but they're going for the gusto and they're hitting enough high notes where for whatever reason it just seems like they're always hitting a high note go for those peak experiences I promise you if you do and you start racking them up you'll be amazed at how much more overall joy you're gonna have in your life so that's what I've got for you this time. Maybe we'll uh, have another one of these videos in the near future, near a different part of the ocean, and have another uh, bit of information passed along to you. Until then, aloha.